Hello everyone, it's Sister Glops, and I'm back yet again playing Age of Engineering. And in between episodes, I did a ton of stuff, so let's go take a look and uh, get to it. Um, I moved my coke ovens in here. Just real simple, just two conduits. Uh, this one is on in and out, extract always, round robin. These ones are just on in and out, extract always. I just throw colon, and uh, yeah, I get uh, cold coke back. Simple as that, just bam. And uh, round robin, so it splits it even between the two. I moved my blast furnace in here. That is pretty cool. And uh, I don't think I did anything outside. Well, I did. I did a bunch of terraforming, actually. I got a whole bunch of flat ground here. Uh, that's because I've been digging under the base to clear out areas for later on. And uh, just moved all the dirt. I used two wands, I think. <laughs> I went to the nether. I spent about an hour and a half to two hours there. I got a whole bunch of stuff here. Actually, I want these boots. These boots are actually really good. Empowered for jump flippers, apiarist. I think they just yeah they just need like jump two on them and they're pretty much pretty much done. <laughs> yeah, pretty cool anyway. Um, so that is that. Um, I got a bunch of those circuits. I got two of them inside my my uh, Ender IO machines. Uh, I got blocks of emeratic. I actually found two blocks of emeratic while we're there. I mostly went for spawner shards just for the future. Uh, we're gonna start using those before long. Very soon, actually, but uh, not a big deal right now. I made a ton of drawers, so we got a ton of drawers. I still need to make uh, compacting drawers, but I'm not going to do those in an episode just because, well, they're not hard. It's just you have to make obsidian plates where you just put obsidian through a block cutting machine. You get nine plates. You then move them over to the, <laughs> the compressor, same nine plates, and uh, make a dense obsidian plate. So you need a massive amount because you need four of those per uh, compacting drawer. You also need tons of reinforced iron. So I'm gonna have to run a couple stocks, stocks, a couple stacks of iron through the stone separator and get a whole bunch, then get them all crafted up. But I'm not gonna do that in an episode. Uh, in between episodes, anything else I did? I can't think. I can't think so. Other than empower an amber attic, that was about it. Uh, which we're gonna do right now. Uh, I actually did that so we can make a fishing net. So there we go, we got a fishing net. And this is gonna handle all of our fish we need for whenever we wanna make a powered palace. Uh, yeah, <laughs> cause I never wanna have to fish again. So let's uh, throw that there. Let's break that, break that. We're gonna throw a bucket of water. Uh, then we're going to put a block back. There we go. And uh, let's go grab a drawer really quick. Uh, oh, I made the framing table too, just so I can customize my drawers. Not a big deal there. But uh, yeah, you just throw the blocks in. They're much more expensive when you do it this way. But uh, if you want them, you know, because these are alabaster fronts. Uh, <laughs> want them to look a certain way, then you're going to have to do it. It's going to throw a drawer on top. That'll catch all the fish. I think only fish come out. If not, I'm not sure. I'm pretty sure only fish come out. If not, I'm going to have to change that with a chest. Anyway, because it just just spit them on the ground otherwise. Um, so we're going to be getting to a bunch of oddball stuff today. It's not really oddball, but, uh, you know, bits and pieces of the things. One thing we need is a centrifuge, and we're also going to need a canning machine. So let's get to those. The centrifuge is actually super easy, so let's get that done. Let's grab two of that. Let's grab, I believe, six iron. Yep. Let's do that. And uh, I think it's just this, actually. We'll just do it this way. There we go. There's our centrifuge. And we're going to just take that. We're going to throw that down. We're going to go here. And uh, can you do show recipes? You can't. Let's go here. Probably is a place in there, but I'm not going to hunt it down. Centrifuge. Bam. Go here. We need this uh, to make. Come back here. Silicon dioxide. How do you make silicon dioxide? Oh, first we need the silicon dioxide to make silicon so we can make electrical steel. So this is how you make silicon in this pack. Uh, you need to run clay dust, which you macerate blocks of clay down. Each block of clay, clay gives you two uh, clay dust. Uh, and then four of those give you silicon dioxide. So basically eight clay gives you, uh, uh, yeah, silicon dioxide. Anyway, we're going to take that. We're going to throw that. We're going to get that going in the centrifuge right away. Excellent. Um, so the fetch fuse is done. We're also going to work on the drawer controller. Let's take a look there. Drawing drawer controller. This should not be too bad. Um, 
So stone, some comparators. This is the thing here. We need one of these circuits, and it's not too bad because we've got everything. Uh, but let's get that going really quick, I guess. Let's get four of those. I put a stack of uh, redstone through the separator and got, uh, you know, a bunch of this stuff. Or it wasn't even a stack. It might have been only like 16. I think it's a four to one ratio, I think. I can't even remember. Uh, four of these. I got totally sidetracked here. We're going to need a stack of that, so let's just do it. Going to need a stack of that and a stack of that, I believe. Uh, and a drawer. I don't know if... Does it say any drawer? We'll see if my uh, framed one works. <laughs> They're more expensive, but it might not work anyway. Um, let's see here. That, that, that. It's not going to let us use the drawer, so let's already ignore it. We're going to need a chest. And we're going to need six wood. So let's grab that. There we go. This is just going to be a giant quality of life thing. So I just want to get to it ASAP. Uh, we're going to need redstone torches. So let's grab a stack of redstone. There we go. Let's just do that. Do that. Do that. I think we need six of those. Yeah. Definitely six for comparators. Uh, and two quartz. And that should give us comparators. There we go. Got two of those. What else do we need? Just the circuit. So we're going to need two diamonds and the random circuits that we got from our setup previously. And uh, we did get the right circus. Uh, we got lucky there. So let's see here. We got one here. That there. And no, one of those. I think that's everything. And we got to run this through the carpenter with water. So I might as well grab a bucket of water. We're going to get that over here. Uh, no, carpet. There we go. Put that there. Here, here. Guess we could just shift click that in. And uh, just dump all the items in the inventory. What do we need there? Diamonds? Is that everything? Oh. There we go. It's going to make us a circuit. And we're good to go from there. There we go. Got our circuit. Come over here, make our drawer controller. I've actually, I purposely didn't fill this one just because, well, I knew it was gonna go here. We'll just punch it a little bit. There we go. And there we go. Got a drawer controller and clean out my inventory whenever I need to. I wanna get these out of my inventory though. They're useless now. Uh, let's see here. We did that. We've got the sulfur dioxide going. So we've got six of that. I want to get dark steel going as well. So let's uh, do that. I'm going to grab a stack of that uh, coal dust, which I think I put right here and that there. Because I'd like to get some dark steel armor. Seems like a thing to have. Because, well, I got the boots, and before long, I'm going to be going to fight the Ender Dragon. So, yeah, just, just, just something that I need. So I'm going to get that in there. Is that going? Yes. And I got a circuit in here. It takes about 100 RF now. Which it means it's not one of the efficient ones, but it is uh, faster for sure, so I'm not really worried about that. What else do we need here? We got that, we got that. Oh yes, I need to grind down lapis. Uh, let's do that. Let's get that here, because I don't think I did that yet. Actually, it'd probably be faster to do it in the sag mill. Oh, I already did it. Excellent. There we go. Now, this is for making coolant. Uh, we need to make the canning machine, so let's grab here. Let's do this. We're gonna make the uh, what is it? Just fluid solid canning canning machine. I think is what it's called. Uh, I'm gonna need more of these anyway. I need one more actually for something else. So let's get to that. Might as well make them all at once. There we go, and. This is going to be kind of an all over the place episode just because we're trying to set up for the future, right? So there's a bunch of things we got to do. So let's go to the solid canning machine. So, no, not the firebox. There we go. Fluid solid canning machine. This is the one we want. We're going to need some tin plates and a circuit. I believe I have circuits up here. We also have tin plates around here somewhere. I think I actually made more. Let's go there. That's the wrong canning machine. That is the solid. There we go. No, 
This one. There. Ah, casings. There we go. Casings. Casings. If I was casings, probably be right here. There we go. And there. There we go. We got our canning machine. And this is what we're going to use to make, uh, what should we call it? Coolant. So with the distilled water I made with the solar distillers last time, I can just shift right click. I can put those in there. Put up to eight at a time. Uh, then we're going to go in here. We're going to make sure it's on fluid and rich. We're going to put in the lapis. And you can use just normal water to do this, but then it takes eight lapis per. Uh, if you just use, if you use the distilled water, it only takes one lapis pure, uh, per. So that is a thing. Uh, anything else? Let's see here. Tin. Those are iron plates. I know this. I know I'm going to need more casing, so let's do this. There we go. I don't think we have enough. No, we don't. So what I'm going to do here, because we got a bunch of processing right now. We've got the coolant processing. We've got uh, sulfur dioxide processing, which is probably still going. It is not done. I mean, is done. So I can do that in a second. I can run that through the centrifuge, so we'll get that started as well. Uh, I've got dark steel going. Soon we're going to have electrical steel. And uh, I'm just going to let that all process, and then I'll be back. And okay, we got enough of our IC2 coolant. We should be good to go. Uh, at least on that, we're going to work on the overclockers. So let's take a look there. Overclockers. Bam. We're going to uh, make this here. We want to make the stack of 12. It's just cheaper. So we're going to just do it that way. Uh, plus, I'm going to need a ton of these over time anyway. Uh, we're going to be upgrading our power really soon. So we're also going to do the transformers to kind of future-proof it so they just don't have a chance of exploding. <laughs> That's kind of what I'm going for there. We're going to need tons of those casings too. Let's do that. Did I grab them all out of here? I was making more. There we go. I feel like I should have more casings. Oh, there we go. I know we're going to use a bunch here, so let's just get it done. Uh, oh, they're tin plates. I thought they were all casings. I know I have tons of plates, but I'm pretty sure you need casings too. Anyway, <laughs> let's do this. It doesn't really matter because it's going to use up the fluid cells too. So uh, I am going to need more tin casings for that. Either way, then we're going to make the 30 case. I am one short or is it two per? No, I'm one short. How am I one short? Oh, I just don't know. I don't have enough plates here. Because tin plates, I think we need some iron plates too, actually, for the last stage. So let's do that. I want casing happy. It's not that I don't need the casing. I just don't need the casing right now. Because every time you make one of those fluid cells, you need casing, right? So I'm just going to throw that in there too. There you go. Oh, I did. It doesn't actually use the fluid cells either. Doesn't matter. I need more fluid cells. I always need more fluid cells. Uh, well, that's doing that though. There's our silicon. Our silicon's done. So let's make some electrical steel. So let's grab some iron. I think it's coal dust. And uh, silicon, right? So let's do that. Let's only make half a stack for now. Let's do that. You will need tons of electrical steel. So yeah, the sooner you get it locked down, the better. But uh, it has a little odd mechanic, so I thought I'd show it. And okay, I think we got enough here to make the last of our 60Ks. We just need a couple iron plates here. Let's just grab a couple of those. I guess we'll grab two of these 60Ks. Then we should be able to finally make 12 overclockers. And we're going to need a lot more in this, but this gets us started. If you shift and look at your machines, you'll see the consumption. So right now, that's at two for the macerator. But if I put two of these in here, well, let's put three. It's now at 8 EU a tick. It can take much more power and move a lot quicker. So I don't know if it tells you. Yeah, it does. Decreases process time to, to 34%. So that's already down to a third of the process time. So that is much quicker. Let's just grab some black quartz, kind of demonstrate just how much quicker this is. See here, it's going so much faster. And uh, I'm going to want it in a lot of these machines. Uh, yeah, anyway. I'm going to decide which ones. I'll probably put two in most for right now. Uh, except for the thermal centrifuge. That is going to wait until we get up to better power. Because that thing is already a beast. <laughs> and if I put up the power on that, it is just not going to work. So, 
Uh, let's actually only keep two in there. And keep two in there. Okay, that is handled on that. We got our overclockers. We can make more as we go. We just need more distilled water. Uh, what else here? We've got our dark steel and our electrical steel. We want to make a basic gear for the Yetta wrench. That would be wonderful. I would love to have a Yetta wrench. Is uh, basic gear iron? Let's see here. Basic gear. No, that's just uh, cobblestone. Well, there you go. Let's do that. Go here. And apparently I'm rotating tables. That is fantastic. I guess I need one more stick because I'm a derp. There we go. Got that. Got to get a wrench. We finally have a tool. There we go. So we're just going to do that. What is that? Electrical steel. That's that. So electrical steel, you're going to be using it a lot. It's been used in a lot of the recipes. So I mean, yeah, even for environmental tech, extreme reactors, it's just, it's going to be used a lot on top of the regular Ender IO stuff. So it's going to be something you're going to want a lot. So get ready for it because it is, you know, several steps. <laughs> okay, so that's done. That's done. We've got our overclockers. Uh, we got that. We got our drawer controller. We have our fishing net. I'm just trying to think else here. I might as well make our dark steel armor while we're sitting here, right? Let's do that. Let's do that. And let's do that. That'll give us our dark steel. There we go. Let's just go chuck this in some random chest. Just in case I ever need it. Oh, yeah. Now I have jump one. Which isn't great, but isn't horrible. So the next thing I want to get to work on before probably anything is going to be... What are they called? Transformers. I want some of these puppies. Um, they're going to make it so we can tier up our tier 1 machines up to tier 2. So when I finally do my, make my nuclear reactor, which will probably be next episode... Um, they won't blow up. <laughs> That's basically what I'm doing here. Let's see here. Let's go there. And uh, I guess we need some glass, some circuits, and some two times gold insulated. Uh, let's grab glass. I did not want two stacks. We're going to need some rubber. There we go. And some of... Is that enough? Yes. Okay. We're going to need, what, only 16. We only need half of that. So let's do that and that. There's our two-time golds insulated. Why does that seem like it's one short? I have no idea. No, I didn't need 22, did I? I only needed 16. Either way, doesn't matter. We'll need more of these in the future. Um, so what was I doing? Transformers. Right here. Bam. We need circuits. I have those pre-made. Before I broke down the uh, work tables, I made a bunch. There we go. Go here. Going to give us eight of these. And I counted out eight specifically. So any of your tier one machines. So Mesa Raider is going to need one. <laughs> uh, electrical Furnace, definitely going to need one. Extractor, definitely going to need one. Metal Former will need one. Block cutting is a tier one. We'll have to do that. Uh, compressor is a tier one. We'll have to do that. Uh, this sorting machine is a tier two. Electric heater, I believe, is a tier four. It is a tier four. So you don't really have to worry about that one much at all. Ore washing is a tier one. We'll give that. Uh, thermal centrifuge is a tier two. You don't have to worry about the blast furnace because it doesn't get power. And uh, the solid canning machine is a tier one. So that will kind of ensure that when we do get this hooked up to power, as long as it's running through copper cable, they will not blow up. <laughs> you just got to make sure it's on tier two power. So that was just, that's, that's just building safety for the next episode, basically. Um, what else do we want to get done here? We got our armor. We got that. We got that. We got that. I think we, last thing I want to get to is going to be... Go in here, let's go in here, let's go in here. The metal press. I want to get a metal press going, so yeah. Uh, that's going to make it so we make gears much cheaper without the use of steel. 
and I'm also going to want it to make uh, immersive, I think, no, yeah, immersive engineering wire, I think is cheaper that way. See here, wire here, that way, here. That is one, here you get two, yes. So let's get that going. We're gonna need uh, iron scaffold. Let's see here, no, steel scaffold. There we go, we want the immersive one. So we're gonna need a bunch of steel. Let's just grab a stack. Uh, here, this is the way we're gonna have to make the rods right now. We just do that, and this will give us six, I believe. Yes, it will. There we go. We're also going to need, let's just grab a stack of copper, I guess, as well. And a stack of iron. Uh, and a stack of redstone. There we go. Next thing we need to make is a redstone. I th forget what it's called. It's just no redstone. There it is. Redstone engineering block. We'll need some of those. Uh, we're going to need the heavy. Gee, heavy uh, engineering block, isn't it? Yes. What's it need? I need steel mechanicals and pistons. Okay, so we're going to have to make some pistons. So let's do that real quick. Let's grab a stack of cobble, stack of wood. I think we have everything else. So let's do that. Here we go. And two of those. Uh, let's do that for a second. We'll clear up our inventory real quick. Let's go here, here. This was for moving chests around, by the way. Uh, what else? Anything else? Let's do that. Let's do that. And let's do that and that. There we go. That should handle the bulk of that. So we got our pistons. Uh, we also needed steel mechanicals, right? There we go. And two copper. So get this out. That. There we go. Grab those. And dark solarium. Oh, I forgot about that. So let's grab. I guess we need a sand. And a gold. There we go. We're just going to have to do this because I have not grabbed any soul sand from the nether. So I'm just going to do it that way. Even though RF wise, it is very expensive to do that way. So. I wouldn't advise it. There we go. That'll give us our dark solarium. And I think that's everything for that. There we go. Uh, that should be up here. And we should be able to make our heavy engineering block. There we go. Is that everything? No. We need conveyors, which means we're going to need leather. Let's do that. Leather should be right here. And we're also going to need... What's that called? Conveyor. Rubber and redstone. So I guess we can grab a redstone, a couple iron, and I didn't grab any ru rubber. There we go. Let's go into here. There's our conveyors. I also want to make a covered conveyor, so I'm going to do that. And I also want to make... I'm going to need a hopper. I don't think I have any, so let's just make one. There we go. Let's do that. Come down here. No, just hopper. Can I just have a hopper? That'd be fantastic. There we go. And we'll need a chest. And okay, I think I'm just going to set this up right down here right now. So we're just going to take it. And we're going to put a scaffold here. A scaffold here. Uh, this will get moved. It's just, just a place to put it. We're going to take this redstone engineering block. We're going to put that there. Uh, we're going to take... Where is it? Oh, I never made an extra piston. We need one more piston, don't we? We do too. Let's grab a piston. There we go. Piston. There we go. What do I need? Wood, iron, and redstone. So one, two, three. Let's grab iron. And let's grab. Am I full again? Go away. There we go. Uh, piston. There we go. We will just throw that there. Heavy engineering block on top. Yes, the piston's aiming the wrong way, but it really doesn't matter at all. I think depending on which way these are facing is the way the machine goes when you, you form it. So I'm going to do that. And I just need an engineer's hammer. It'll just rotate the piston until it completes the multi-block. There you go. 
Uh, from there, we're going to grab this, put that there. We're going to take this covered conveyor belt and we're going to point it in the direction of there. Uh, we're going to grab a hopper, throw the hopper on. The whole point of the covered conveyor belt is to make it so in the future when I actually do have a magnet, it won't pull items out of this. Once it gets to here, your magnet cannot pull it off because it's actually considered part of the multi-block and it's actually just kind of an animation. But from this, to be able to connect the hopper, you need one more conveyor. If you don't have a covered, you're going to pull it out. So that's kind of what I'm doing there. Uh, let's see here. We're going to do this, put that there, go to here, boom, a chest. And that'll just automatically pick up the finished product. Break that. Oh, did I really? Mm. Why do I do the things I do? I hear a skeleton. Hopefully he's not close by. There we go. The last thing we're going to need there, I think, is the actual molds. And I actually looked up the recipe earlier. Uh, I'm going to want to. I'm going to want this one. What is that one? Bullet casing? No. I don't know if the rod casing is good. Is it two? That's not any better, I don't think. Or is it? Let's see here. Uh, let's look at, say, iron rods. Is there any other better recipes? Two. I guess that is. So I'll probably end up making all three of those molds. So probably, yeah. The rod, the gear for sure, because that saves you steel. That saves you four steel off of every one. And, uh, yeah, anyway, let's see here. I think I made, yes, steel plates already. We're going to have to make a gear, though, so I'm going to have to waste some steel to do that. So let's do that. And I have no steel on me. I probably put it back. Let's just do this. Uh, steel mechanical component. There we go. And I guess four copper. There we go. And that'll give us a random gear to work with. Then four steel plates. And we got our mold. And let's test this thing out. Actually, let's not use copper. Let's use bronze. Because they are something I'm going to need every time I need to make a sturdy casing. So let's just see if the recipe works fine and dandy. Throw that up there. Uh, we need power too. So let's grab power from this. I guess we can throw power up. Let's put it here. And I probably don't have any actual wires on me. I know I have some of them around here somewhere, though. Not there. Not there. Where did I put them? There they are. I only need one. And this thing doesn't take a lot of power, so I'm not really concerned. Right there to right there. It's getting power. And I just want to put in four bronze and see if we get a bronze gear out. All four are there. It's doing its thing. It stamped it. And it should end up in the chest. Perfect. Working exactly as it should. And uh, that simple. Keep it simple. And anything else I want to work on right now? I'm not sure. Uh, we covered the coolant. We covered the canning machine. We covered the centrifuge. We got our armor. I'm going to make a bow in between episodes. Uh, that's a problem. Yes, okay. Uh, we learned that this is going to take a chest because it doesn't give me just normal fish. Uh, and I don't know if salmon are going to work. So, yeah, I'm going to swap that out with a chest. I wanted to use a drawer just so I could... Uh, so I could... Uh, Put a void upgrade because over time i'm gonna end up with a ton of fish and have no need for them but uh we'll put that there that'll handle that throw that fish in there and uh i think that pretty much covers everything yeah we covered the uh the silicon dioxide we covered yeah we covered everything we covered everything everything it's actually pretty productive when you think about it we covered a lot of uh different mechanics pretty quickly um but anyway I think I'm going to end this episode here. So, as always, if you guys like this video, please hit that like button. If you really liked it, hit that subscribe button. It's much appreciated. I want you guys all to have a good one. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Later.